Oh, uh, that might explain it. See how you were how you were talking about touching the button with the paper and like thinking about everyone touching this. That's that's how I am all the time. That's good, dude. It took this. See, it's not OCD. It's just fucking being aware of what pe- people touch. Like yeah. I never touch like handrails or like the uh, especially not the fucking like escalator handrails that never get cleaned and they're just endlessly going with more and more people's hands on them. Mm-hmm. Never would ever touch one of those. And then like if I can get away with touching a door, like if it's just a push to open, I'll I'll put my hand up like as high as I can and touch up there where no one touches. Right. But now everyone's going to be doing all that shit right Which now. Which is good. Yeah. Or I'd at least shoulder in. Yeah. Shoulder in's pretty germ free, right? I don't know. I mean, I think the the deal is, yeah, I mean, the whole thing with your hands is like you touch your hands and then you touch your face. And I touch my face a lot too. Me too. But that's where you would contract it or anything that, cause you, it's like respiratory or whatever is how you, how you do it. So like if you sneeze and I like walk through it and breathe, I could catch whatever it is. You just sneezed out. So same thing, if you're always touching shit that other people are touching, yeah, and then you touch your face. But if you shoulder it, you're not going to fucking touch your mouth to your shoulder. I mean, you might. Can you get it through your skin, or is it not real? No. That's cool. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Fuck that, dude. I definitely thought about it the whole way home and there. A little freaked out, you know, sitting in the chairs and shit. Everyone's freaked out. Not freaked out. I wasn't freaked out. I still did everything normal, but I probably was thinking how you think. Yeah. Which I probably try to stay like that. It's just I never thought twice. You know, just be like, I'm thinking about something else. Like not <laughs> even, you know, I couldn't even tell you what I'd be thinking about. Like, you know, when's the next Can-Am Razor coming out or something? You know? like, <laughs> <laughs> even though you don't fucking have one. <laughs> yeah, like when, when is the, do they have a Las Vegas event for that? Because, every, you know. Everything has a little show in Vegas, you know, like the tech like the, con yeah, or whatever. Yeah, side-by-side reveal. Right. They might. What's new? Yeah, it'd be cool to go to. Probably not enough to the show, though. To have that yet. There's yeah. like three manufacturers. Dude, Vegas is the shit for... I th- I'm surprised. I thought there's like five cases in Nevada. Yeah. And they're all Washoe? No, there's, no <clears throat> there's, there's more. There's like 20 last I read. Oh. But there's four in Washoe County. The I think there was probably. one in Carson, and mm-hmm. then the rest are in uh, Clark County. That's Vegas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sucks. But what do you? What do they do? You know what is? I don't know. You just they try, can't really do anything. I don't think. You just try to stay away from where po- people are, probably for yeah. a little bit. Schools are closed until April 12th or something like that. It's crazy. Just saw that right before we started recording. Just so it kind of dies off, right? I don't know. It's not going to die off, I don't think. I don't think they're going to. I think, um, I mean, there's no, like, vaccine for it. Mm. So short of them getting that, like, right away, which probably won't happen. But if you do nothing, like, it spreads super quick. But if you try to do this, like, social distancing shit, it won't spread as fast. Mm-hmm. So, and then at that point, because you don't want everyone sick at one point, but it's just like, it's kind of like, it's a real thing and there's obviously people dying from it and stuff, but it, it's almost like, it's just the name, like that virus is in the name. People think it's like horrible, but mm-hmm. it's really just like a strain of the flu. But, and, it, but like it you said, some like, people, yeah, like mostly old people. And old people with pre-existing conditions and shit, but like for us or anyone fucking listening to the show, basically like you would get it and then you'd be sick for you know a week or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Like you had the flu and then you'd be fine. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna fucking die from it. You just get sick and then. You think some people have already had it and are fine? Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. yeah there's a ton of people like that already. And then you're kind of immune to it. Not really, yep. but yeah, no, you, know. you would be. What does that mean, being immune? Like, you can get it, but you won't die or something? <clears throat> no. So that's how, as far as I know, that's how, like, vaccines work. Or not vaccines, but I guess that is a vaccine, like the flu shot. When they when they hit you with the flu shot, that's, like, a very small dosage of the actual flu. So then, in theory, some people do get sick from it. But in theory, your body fights it off. Yeah. And then 
it, your immunity builds up. So then if you come in contact it, with it later, you've already had it without actually having it. That's so crazy. same thing. If you got the flu without a shot, you just get sick and then you're done for the year or whatever until there's a new strain of the flu. Well, that's why like every time we get a cold, it's like a slightly different version of the common cold because once you get it, your immunity builds up and then you don't get it again. Wow, dude, isn't it crazy we're built with that? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, what if we weren't? Oh, we'd die. We'd just keep getting the same shit over and over. And we'd be wiped out probably. Yeah. But do, do you think bears and, and like animals are like that too? I don't know. I'm sure. I'm probably. Yeah. Wow, dude. What a sick thing to like, what is that, like blood cells or what kills a bacteria? I couldn't tell you. I have no idea. Uh, yes, doc. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. The but, coronavirus, yeah. dude. Hopefully people stop fucking freaking out. Yeah, how long do you think it'll take? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. That's why they, they're they trying to get us to like do this self-quarantining shit so it doesn't spread like crazy. Mm -hmm. But it's hard to say. I don't know. And then they're saying, you know, all this shit with like – the thing that is disrupting the economy a little bit is like the supply chains that are in China. But the shit that I've seen it hasn't really affected, even though that's not real data. It's just a couple things. But like I sent some stuff over to – some samples over to a soft good manufacturer in China <clears throat> like a month ago. And they said – she was like, oh, the virus is bad over here. It's like before it was even in the U.S. Mm-hmm. And, but they were like two days behind. Like it, it wasn't, they're, they're still working and stuff. Not like everyone's fucking locked up doing nothing. And then same thing. We just ordered the tent, the, for the bad touch setup and they're in China and it said on their website, like allow 24 to 48 hours because of the outbreak extra. Like it, and that shit, I ordered it last week and I already shipped. It'll be here tomorrow. Like, they're not fucking... <laughs> what the fuck? It's not like the whole world is shut down, like right. they make it seem. Yeah. That's why it, it is like, it's like I said, it's a real thing, but like the media does cause more panic than there needs to be. Yeah, definitely. You know, like, and Apple's shutting down all this shit, like code, our roommate works at Apple, he's off work for the next two weeks, paid. <laughs> they're just shutting down all the stores, and but then like Alan... My producer just ordered a new computer and he's, he ordered it and he was like, fuck dude, it might be like months. They said because of this shit, like all the factories are shut down. He fucking already got it. Like they're still working over there. Damn. Yeah. It was, it was delayed by like a week. I think people in the U S take it more serious. And I feel like we have a pretty clean country. Yeah. But I don't think it's, it's not about being clean, mm -hmm. I guess sort of, but it's not like a disease you would get from like living in filth or something, you know? Mm. So I don't know. Who knows what it's going to do, but I think people are freaking out more and they need to. More than you they the need toilet to. paper. Oh, I know. I didn't know that. I thought that was just like kind of like a meme. That's what I thought too, until I saw it today. That's crazy. And I still, I'm sure someone knows like why everyone's going for toilet paper, but I just don't get relate like getting sick in toilet paper. I think it's just like stocking up in general, like uh, being prepared for everything to be shut down and like mass shortages of everything. That's the only thing I can think of. But then it's like, okay, well then why isn't it? I mean, there is a lot of shit wiped out, I guess, but you would think that, you know, a, a family could buy a fucking 48 pack at Costco and be good for a while. Wow. More, more than their... The food that they're getting. Yeah, I wonder what Costco's like because they got fucking mountains of that shit. No, it's all sold out. It's even sold out on Amazon shit because I was like, fuck, I should buy some off Amazon, try to sell it or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I go on there and there's they're all wiped out. Every single type of toilet paper I could find it was like <coughs> not available until April or some shit. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I bet they're just like, we're shutting down too, you know, on Amazon. I don't know. What a crazy thing, dude. Hopefully people still hire me. I wouldn't. Why? Because, dude, you're a fucking risk. You've been out of the country. You've been traveling, always coughing. I've been coughing for years, dude. I know, but now they're putting two and two together. Well, they're like, fuck, we could hire this guy that never coughs. 
<laughs> we could have rehired The photographer's JP, always the, coughing. He's fucking coughing everywhere, dude. I'm like, dude, I'm high. I'm not on the virus, you know? 